Lots of enthusiasm around that presentation of the Star Spangled Banner. And we've got plenty more coming up. Stay tuned. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA Action on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony, Hall of Famer Doris Burke, and another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, from the sidelines. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. You take a look at the Pistons, third best record here in the early going. And, of course, Brooklyn, not really any threat right now as their record showing a lot more losses. And checking out Detroit, for me, they've taken the league by storm this season. I felt like they were maybe a year ahead of schedule in terms of being an elite group. Uh, but you look at them right now, and here they are. Yeah, they weren't really on anyone's radar before the season began, but they're definitely there now. And we've got time for a quick pregame report. With that being said, let's head to the sideline in our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge, D.A. Thank you, Kevin. Last season, James Harden moved past Larry Bird on the career points list. Harden said, passing one of the greatest ever is a great honor. I just got to continue to build because at the end of the day, I want my name to be mentioned with those greats. Well, it already is. Guys? I agree, David. Every word of it. Absolutely. Thank you. And in the early part of the season, Doris, some teams still working out the kinks. Where does the level of play peak, you think, in the regular season? You know what, Kevin? On any given night, you can see an incredible game. At the start of the year, guys are anxious. They're ready to play, and so you might see something spectacular. There can be that feeling out process early on where teams are trying to determine how they're going to be most successful. The one thing we know, Kevin, you do not want to peak too soon. Here are the starters for Brooklyn. We've got Durant, Harden out there with Harris. Then there's Paul Millsap. And it's Claxton in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for Detroit, Grant is out there with Isaiah Stewart. And it's Cunningham. And there's Jackson. And it's Diallo in at the three, the small forward. Now here's Harden. Just five on the clock. And here's Harris from the arc. It's hauled in by Diallo. And it's Detroit's ball. Outside Jackson. Passes it to Cunningham. Over Harden. Cunningham gets the bucket. Cunningham's got the first points on the scoreboard for the Pistons. Harden surveying the D. First quarter of play, one minute played. Durant for three. Doesn't go for him. The Pistons go the other way with it. They traveled to Brooklyn last time they faced the Nets, and they came away with a win. And the last time these two met, they were able to get a big win because of that bench production. Second unit might be a factor in this one as well. Certainly something to keep an eye on. We'll see how the rotations go this time out. Every night it seems to be different. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Pass to Stewart. There's the lob to the hoop. And the dunk by Stewart. And how sweet a play was that. As sweet as it gets. An exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley-oop dunk. Now here is Harris. 14 points from him the last game against Atlanta. KD finds Harris. In the corner. Harden. It's three pointers off the mark. The Pistons have gone two or three here to start out the game. And you can see why Cunningham elicits comparisons to Luka Doncic. Can control the pace of the game, very high basketball IQ, and shows a maturity beyond his years. Durant, chalk up two there. Well, it doesn't get any easier than that. Give Kevin Durant that interior look, and he will score it. Now, here's Cunningham, guarded by Harden. Diallo with it. 11 points for him in that last game against Philadelphia. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Cunningham. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. 
And also like Doncic, Cunningham can put the offense on his back and carry it. He could put up 50-plus numerous times in his career because he has deep range, can break down defenders off the dribble, and if you run two at him, he will immediately find the open man. The first one falls. Second free throw, no good. And Kevin Durant signing an extension this past offseason. Locked in with the Nets for the next four years. Seems like there's a very good chance Durant could end his career in Brooklyn. Uh, Kevin Durant with a nice feel right there. Just lead the guy to the open spot. That is beautifully done. Nice ball movement by Detroit. Now here's Cunningham. Tight defense on him. Nets have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. The pass to Harden. Bounce pass from Millsap. Here's Claxton. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. The Pistons trail it. Grant outside. From the strike, it's deflected, and he stays with it. And the foul called on Paul Millsap. That'll be his second foul of the game. Already his second foul. He's in danger of getting into serious foul trouble early in this game. LaMarcus well, Aldridge, he's checked in for the Nets. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And making a statement right away. Letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. Goes up off the inbound. Here's Grant. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That's on LaMarcus Aldridge. Well, the length and athleticism that Jeremy Grant possesses puts the defense in a tough spot. That's nice. What I really love about Jeremy Grant is his work ethic. He's really put in time to improve his scoring. Specifically, his jump shot. For a while, he didn't have the consistent three ball. Now, you got to at least honor it. The free throw drops for Grant. Well, I like how Jeremy Grant continues to work on his game. The jumper is coming along, and he remains an exceptional defensive player. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line, and boy, has his stroke been on the money. And it's Harden with the ball for Brooklyn. They trail by one. Pass to KD. From deep, an absolute bomb from three-point range. Durant's got five now. Well, this, of course, is one of Kevin Durant's strengths. Such an accomplished shooter score from any spot on the floor. Grant up top. His last outing, he had 24 points. Rebounded by the Nets. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. And hey guys, if you don't control second chance opportunities, you don't control your fate. That has to be their key takeaway from that one. I think if you get out rebounded by that wide a margin, it speaks to a lack of energy and effort, and that's problematic. Pistons trail by four. Passes it to Stewart. He lobs it up, and the dunk by Stewart. Well, I'll tell you, he is showing strides in improving the passing aspect of his game. Josh Jackson, pretty look there. Harden outside. Aldridge kicks to Harden. Pass to Durant. Over Diallo. And Durant gets it to go. The assist from Harden. 
KD's got his third basket of the night. And arguably no one in the NBA draws more attention than Harden. Part of why that he creates so many opportunities for others. Now here's Diallo. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. At the elbow, it's Jackson. He kicks to Cunningham. Just four to shoot. Second chance shot, and it's good on the way up. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Here is Harden. He's coming off a 22-point game against Atlanta. You know what else impressed me? How infectious his tenacity was. Simply a wrecking ball on the boards, collecting huge amounts of rebounds. Now here's Durant. Three-pointer. The shot will not fall. Jackson against Harris. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's on Kevin Durant. I don't think you can be too physical with Josh Jackson. This guy is very good at getting calls when he has the basketball. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Nets. They pounded the ball inside in the first half, forcing the D to collapse, and that frees up the shooters going forward. I think the other thing they've had going for them is their passing. Plenty of their baskets have come off assists. And the first one drops. I'll tell you, the potential of Josh Jackson is really enticing. This guy is a remarkable athlete. He can defend the basket at a high level. If he gets a jump shot, guys, that's consistent, look out. Detroit making a switch here. Olenek's checked in. And it's tied up with that one. Brooklyn's gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. Harden kicks to Durant. Harris outside. Let's it go from deep. Rebound by Olenek. Just doing the job on the backboard. And it's Grant in the corner. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. It's Harden with the drive. In a key part, Doris, of Harden's game lately, his rebound. Right, because his ability to rake and take, get out and transition, make great decisions on the fly, it puts so much pressure on the defense. And Harden with such a high usage rate, Doris, it's incredible how efficient he is. Guys, his percentages are fantastic for someone who has to take so many difficult shots. He's not at the finishing end of alley oops, let's remember. This guy is not allowed clear lanes to the bucket. He gets the best defender night by night. This guy has to work for every look he gets. First free throw is good. And what's incredible about Harden, he can dominate a game with the pass as much as the shots. So defensively, you have to prepare for both. Here's what Detroit's going with right now. Bays checked in for Stewart. Joseph comes in for Josh Jackson. Saban Lee's subbed in for Cunningham. And good on the second, so he makes them both. They've been trailing for a few minutes here. But that could change right here. Lee passes to Grant. Back to Lee. Floats it up for Grant. What a terrific pass. Work the ball inside and create a good look for your teammate. So for the Pistons, their last game a loss to the 76ers. They just got overwhelmed. We knew that game was going to be a tough one for them, and we were right. Sometimes it's about the talent disparity, and it would have taken a massive effort for them to even be competitive, and it was nothing close to that. And the D has to be more aware of Hart, especially when he's operating that close to the basket. The pass to Olenek. Nails the baby hook. Olenek's got the game tied up here for Detroit. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Brown, the pass to Durant. It's up a three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Durant's got 10 points. This guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. And now the first time out called here for Detroit.
The Nets making a switch here. Mills has checked in. Here's Lee. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. The Pistons shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. The first one falls. And both free throws good for a lead. The Nets with the lead. Now here's Brown. Pass to Durant. Outside Griffin. And here's Brown outside. A shot off that time. Now the Pistons take it the other way. Grant dishes to lead. Back to Grant. Passes it to Bay. Lock at six. Going inside. Oh, took the contact and tried to throw it down over the top. But instead, he'll shoot free throws. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. Yeah, you, you just have to be more disciplined. I mean, too many fouls and free throw attempts for the opponent. Now the free throw is good, now leading by one. And Brooklyn has possession. Now Brown, he is still scoreless so far in this one. Durant against to win it. And the call will be against LaMarcus Aldridge. That's his third foul so far. On his situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. Brown against Lee. Now here's Bay. He's guarded closely. Again, the miss by the Pistons. And so Aldridge will bring it up for the Nets. They trail by one. Kicks to KD. The dish to Mills. Just five to shoot. Driving in. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. Yeah, it reminds me of that cameo song, Back and Forth. Detroit's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Lee outside. Bay against Durant. Grant outside. Lee kicks to Olenek. Lee against Brown. Lee gets the bucket. Lee's got five now. Boy, nice stroke from downtown. Got it off just before the defense could react. That's his specialty. And here is Brown. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Griffin passes to Mills. Right side Aldridge over Joseph. And Aldrich, the basket on the assist by Mills. Aldrich has got it all tied up now for the Nets. Refusing to let the D have the last word. Aldrich just excellent at converting on physical defense. The Pistons have gotten seven of their first 16 field goal attempts to go down here in the first. 
Grant against Griffin. They get it back, and Durant sends it back. Up top, Griffin. He's covered by Grant. That shot by Griffin, no good. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And a very steady season for him at the charity stripe last year. He was right at 85%. First free throw is good. Johnson, he's checked in for the Nets. James Harden comes in for Kevin Durant. Good on both. There's 117 left to play in the first quarter. Now, here's Mills, covered by Lee. Mills dishes to Griffin. To the middle, here's Grant, and the dunk by Grant. Well, this is something Grant does very well. Slams it home when he's got space. Harden outside. 50 seconds left to play in the first quarter. And good that time. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. The Pistons leading. Lee with the ball. He's got five. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here it is eye-opening. Mills passes to Harden. It's Brown on the wing. Pass to Mills. The three. Kept alive. Another shot. That one drops for him. What energy on the offensive boards. The defense can't match the effort, and they paid the price. Here's Lee. Here's Grant. And it's in there. Grant's got 10 points in the game. Now Jeremy Grant has figured out how to be opportunistic on the interior. Nicely done there. Jeremy Grant, he is feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Detroit. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. We've got more in store for you right after this. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far on the scoreboard. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Pistons. And they've made an effort to get to the line here in the first half, guys. And it's starting to pay off. Well, something else they've done a good job of tonight is penetrating and getting points right at the rim. After a whistle, we often see players demanding their coach challenge the call. Greg, were there plays you wish you could have challenged in your career? Oh, my goodness, absolutely. But the game was just so different back then, and we had other ways of resolving issues and letting the refs know when we maybe didn't appreciate a call. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor, all fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the court for the Pistons, Bay and Grant are the forwards. Jackson is out there with Corey Joseph, and it's Olenek in at the center position. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Sadiq Bey was the 19th pick in 2020 out of Villanova, and he made an immediate impact for the Pistons. Dwayne Casey said he's a coach's dream, adding he's made himself into one of the top three-point shooters of his class, a defender, and he's just scratching the surface. Guys, not bad for a rebuilding team. You're right, they got a good one. Thanks. Here's Olenek following the score by James Johnson. Shot clock at six. Hey, finds Joseph. 
Connects from three-point range. Joseph's got his first three points of the game. Well, this was another shot that Corey Joseph has developed. I'll tell you, you get the catch-and-shoot game going. Look out. Harden the pass to Johnson. Mills in the corner. Fires the three. Buries the long-range jumper. Mills has got the game tied up here for Brooklyn. And guys getting into a nice groove here. Starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Johnson outside. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Three-pointer. And the Nets, another three. That's the second long-range bomb in the quarter after a slow first period. He is on a roll. Millsap against Joseph. And he uses the glass on the way. Joseph's got his second basket of the night. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Harden against Grant. Harden kicks to Johnson. Back to Harden. Fires for three. Rebound by the Pistons. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. They get the rebound. And another shot. Olenek dishes to Grant. Stolen by Harden. In transition, here come the Nets. Brown's got the ball. Millsap left side. Stolen by Grant. Now here's Jackson. Over Harden. They get it again. Grant. And that's dunk by Grant. How about the timing on the offensive glass by Jeremy Grant? Always seems to be in the right place. Mills passes to Millsap. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. And there's the foul. It'll go on Bruce Brown. That's his first foul. So Detroit going with an almost entire new group here. Stewart's checked in for Kelly Olynyk. Josh Jackson comes in for Grant Diallo. He's checked in for Sadiq Bey. And it's Cunningham in for Corey Joseph. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for the Nets. Harris comes in for Patty Mills. Now here's Jackson. 17 points for him last game against Philadelphia. And let's not forget about the assist. This guy as a playmaker was a driving force for that offense. Now here is Harden after Josh Jackson's miss. Down low. Stewart with the steal. Diallo with it. Picked up by Brown. Outside Jackson. The pass to Cunningham. Bangs home the trifecta. Cunningham's got the lead up to six now for the Pistons. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. And the foul called on Cade Cunningham. That'll be his second foul of the game. Millsap passes to Claxton for three. Harris. Here's Brown. Kicks it out to Harden. Will it go? And off the left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. That's now eight points for James Harden. Pistons leading by four. And a fortunate turn of events for Brown last year. A Dorsey was traded from one of the worst teams to one of the best. And what I respect is how scrappy, how hard playing, how defensive minded a guard this guy is. But he's also willing to fit perfectly around stars. He finds a way to do all the dirty work and make himself a factor. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Burnett shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Take a break. Take a break. 
And the first one at the line is good. Drops them both. Detroit's gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. Cunningham kicks to Diallo. Outside Jackson. Shoots over Brown. It's tipped. And it's on a bound to the Pistons as Detroit retains possession. Some changes for Brooklyn. LaMarcus Aldridge has checked in for Millsap. And it's Kevin Durant in for Brown. Knocked loose. Six on the shot clock. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. The Nets have gone four of eight so far here in the second quarter. Harden the pass to Claxton. KD on the wing. That misses. Had a chance to tie it there. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. It's deflected. Here he goes. And then Durant with the jam. Kevin Durant knows exactly where his scoring opportunities come from, and he is capitalizing right now. The Pistons have gone 5 of 12 from the field here in the second. Now Jackson. Pass to Diallo. A three-pointer off the mark. And here is Durant. Outside Aldridge. The three from Harden. It's held in by Diallo. Well, this has not been a quarter to remember for this guy. He looks completely flustered. There's the drive. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. And so it's Durant with it. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Harris, right side. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Detroit's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Stolen by Harden. In transition, here come the Nets. Pass to Claxton. Over Stewart. Got a hand on it. Inside, there's Diallo. A slam dunk by Diallo. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Now, here's Durant. 29 points for him last game against Atlanta. And you know, guys, the other thing I really appreciated about his effort in that game was the effort and work on the glass. What a well-rounded performance. Here's Cunningham. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. And team strategies closely guarded one aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to it's tough to hide your communications teams go to great lengths to try to do it but sometimes to no avail Lee's checked in for Jackson Griffin's checked in for the Nets Cunningham passes to Lee Jackson, that's a two-pointer, and misses it off the right side of the rim. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. On the wing, Harris. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Cunningham dishes it to Jackson. 
Detroit. No good that time either. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. Then this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Harden outside. Pass to Durant. Harris outside. Five on the clock. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Cunningham passes to Diallo. Now, here's Cunningham. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. Makes the first. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. And the great thing about Durant, he gives you a lot of everything. Yeah, it goes way beyond being versatile. This guy is a great shooter, an elite historical scorer, rebounder, passer, shot blocker, one of the most complete players in the history of the game. He talked about a back-and-forth game. This is the definition. You have to love these kinds of games, scoring-wise, keeping everybody on their toes. Now here's Jackson. They get a hand on it. Now the pass to Stewart. And here comes Harden, leading the fast break. And the slam by Blake Griffin. Yeah, I feel like they could execute this play in their sleep. Griffin, one of the premier alley-oop finishers in the league. Pistons trail by three. Driving to the basket. Here's Cunningham. It's tipped. On the wing, Harris, covered by Lee. Harden with it. He's got eight. He dishes it to KD. Top of the key, Harris. Pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Harris has got the lead up to five now for the Nets. And so it's Cunningham. He'll bring it up for the Detroit Pistons. Lee outside. Pass to Cunningham. That shot off. Ice D from Griffin. Brooklyn with the ball. They're on a 14-3 run. It's Harden with the drive. And Harden with the stuff. Nice play. And you can see... They're gathering momentum. You want to continue to build on this lead. Right now, still a little too close for comfort. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. Yeah, I think Coach calls his timeout right now because he's not happy with the distribution of shots. Difficult shots, contested shots. You've got to get a better offensive rhythm. So Detroit going with an almost entire new group here. Kelly Olenek checked in for Stewart. Grant comes in for Jackson. Bays checked in for Diallo. And Corey Joseph subbed in for Cunningham. Mills, he's checked in for the Nets. Now here's Olenek. And it's out of bounds. And they say last touch by Griffin. Griffin with the steal. 
Bay against KD. Misses in close. Pistons trail by seven. Here's Lee. And that one hits back iron. Boy, a little indecisive. I think he wanted to kick it out, changed his mind, and ended up missing. Shots good by Mills. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. 32 seconds left in the first half. Passes it to Bay. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. It's on Kevin Durant. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. Free throw good from Bay. Nets leading by six. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Mills looking it over. Harris outside. Six to shoot. The baseline J. And it's Durant, that time on the assist by Mills. 16 points for Kevin Durant. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well in this one, a great performance from the field. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Hey, Kevin, thanks. Hey, James, we know that scoring seems to come easy for you. How do you create that mentality out there? I just like to have fun. You know, it's all for the kids. It's all for the fans. You know, I think that's what we're here for. And so, um, you know, guys just go out there and compete, have fun, and just play hard. My family doesn't think it's all for the kids, but I appreciate your sentiment. Back to you, Kevin. <laughs> Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. A tremendous start for Kevin Durant. He had 16 points, 4 assists, and 6 rebounds. Shaq, let's get your take on Brooklyn. Their efforts in the paint have really paid dividends. It's been a focal point for them. Not so much for the other team. It's been the difference in the game. Kenny, what do you think about Detroit? We've seen a lack of focus and control from them. They've wasted a number of possessions by turning the ball over. It's simple. The score should be closer if they would protect the rock and make the smart play. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. No problems fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. And part of that has to do with his mindset. He has been looking to push the action at every opportunity, and he has been in attack mode all night. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. Setting the floor for the Nets. Brown out there with Paul Milson. Then it's Joe Harris. Then it's Harden. And it's Claxton in at the five spot. Harris kicks to Harden. And Grant sends it back. Well, twice on the pipes, Jeremy Grant says, no, sir. The jump hook. Paul Millsap with the rebound. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. Harden with it. Diallo's there. Harden, no good. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the teammates have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. No good from Grant. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. Stolen by Grant. 
Here's Cunningham. Offensive rebound. And he converts the layup. Cunningham's got the first points to start out the third quarter for Detroit. Their first basket in four tries. Let's see if that basket gets them going. It can be contagious now. Pass to Harden. He kicks it to Millsap. Harden left side. It's Cunningham with the rebound. Cunningham's got four rebounds in this game. Well, when 0 for 3 start to the half, you need to pick it up and start to put some pressure on your opponent. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. Kevin Durant's checked in for Bruce Brown. The free throw drops for Grant. Just over a minute and a half played here in the third. It's Harden with the drive and Harden with the stuff. And once Harden has momentum behind him, watch out. They love seeing the beard flush it down there with some power. Pistons trail by five. Outside Jackson. And there's the pass to Stewart. Pass to Grant. Here's Cunningham. Shot clock at five. The nine-foot shot. That one a little long. Nets leading by five. Harden outside. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And the ongoing league debate. Who's the toughest guy to guard? Harden's name always comes up. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And when you shoot 86 from the line like he did last season, you usually cash in on those opportunities. First one falls for him. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And so it's Cunningham. He'll bring it up for the Detroit Pistons. Their next game is at the Rockets Arena in Houston for a game with the Rockets. It's game one of a three-game road trip. A floater, and the layup is up and in. Cunningham's got 13 points. Boy, that's beautiful touch on the floater. And let's remember, not everyone has that shot in their arsenal. Harden the pass to Durant. And here is Harris. For three, Millsap. Rebound by the Pistons. Cunningham's got his fifth rebound in this one. One for five has got to be a frustrating start, and they just don't look sharp right now. Can they find their offensive game? Harden, that's tipped. And here comes Jackson, leading the fast break. And Durant sends it back. Maybe the most underrated aspect of Kevin Durant's abilities as a basketball player, the defensive end. Harden outside. To the right side. Claxton the pass to Harden. Drives to the hoop. Count that bucket. Harden's got six here in this quarter. How about that move? Is this guy special or what? Just love watching him operate inside. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Cunningham's shot is off. Brooklyn leading by seven. Durant dishes to Harris. Back to KD. Takes the three. It's hauled in by Stewart. Stewart's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Jackson misses. He's so frustrated. Hasn't had a make-all game. It's making it very difficult for them to find any success. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Brooklyn Nets are creating a fresh legacy. Kevin Durant says it's new energy. One of the first teams in Nets history where fans are expecting us to do good things. The basketball culture is deep in Brooklyn, and they're looking for a team to latch on to. Well, guys, it looks like they found a good one. I agree, David. Thanks. 
Pistons trail by nine. Here's Cunningham. 13 points in the game. Over Harden. Again, the miss by the Pistons. For Brooklyn, they've gone a lackluster three of nine from the field since halftime. Harris misses. And for the Pistons, they're shooting poorly, just 35% so far. Let's it go. That shot misses. And Brooklyn will now go the other way with it. Outside for Durant. Outside Millsap. Harris passes to Claxton. Shoots over Grant. A shot's good from Claxton. Claxton's got the lead up to 11 now for Brooklyn. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. And for top high schoolers, Doris, who want to make a salary instead of going to college, there are now quite a few options. There are, Kevin, and I love it because to me, this is a free market system. So whether you're going overseas, you have the Ignite franchise in the G League. And listen, there may be more options to come, and I think that's a great thing. Olenek, he's checked in for Detroit. Frank Jackson comes in for Jackson. Then for the Nets, LaMarcus Aldridge, he's checked in for Nicholas Claxton. Johnson comes in for Paul Milson. That's Mills in for Joe Harris. Now here's Olenek to stop the drought. No good on that one. Some solid defense from Aldridge. And the dunk by Aldridge. And this is the power you like seeing from Aldridge, leaving no room for error with that flush. Pistons trail by 13. Cunningham looking it over. Here's Grant. Johnson with the defensive effort. The Nets have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the third quarter got underway. In the corner, Harden. There's the triple. Rebound by Olenek. Olenek's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Cunningham. Detroit, no good that time either. He is just not taking smart shots out there. A pattern he has fallen into tonight. And Katie throws it down. Well, Kevin Durant not about to settle for any low percentage shot. My goodness, with authority. And it's Detroit's ball. 15-point game. Cunningham kicks to Jackson. The Pistons working the ball around now. Passes to Cunningham. Down to five on the shot clock. Stolen by Harden. Pass to Mills. To the inside, Alder. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. All right, well, look at how the hustle game has been going for the Nets. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. They've gotten out on the break over and over tonight as well. A lot of baskets coming in transition. Bays checked in for the Pistons. Lee comes in for Cunningham. And that one falls for LaMarcus Aldridge. And what a tremendous career for LaMarcus Aldridge. I mean, so many double-doubles. A rim protector makes plays for others. Man, the list goes on. Now here's Lee. He has seven to the paint, trying to find Jackson. He's got it now. And stolen by Aldridge. Bounce pass from Durant. And here's Mills for three. That's in coming off the assist from Katie. Durant's got his sixth assist on the night. Pistons trail by 21. Now here's Bay. He's got five. And again, it's the Pistons missing. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. It's just been one of those games, and they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. 
And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. Now here's Lee, and he lobs it up toward the rim. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Mills passes to Harden. Here's Johnson. He's covered by Grant. Johnson kicks to Mills. Off target from three-point range. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. There's the pass to Bay over Durant. Bay, no good. And so it's Durant with it. He'll bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Harden outside to the middle. Fades. And Aldridge gets it to go on the assist by Harden. Aldridge has got nine points. That mid-range, Jay, just no problem for a big man like LaMarcus Aldridge. Really, he has patented that jump shot. The Pistons shooting at a 32% clip from the field. They're just not executed. Lee finds Grant. Down low. Can they get... Oh! My goodness. Well, Jeremy Grant doing work at the rim. Don't give him any space, boy. This guy can get up. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Now here's Durant. He's got 22. And Frank Jackson picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Corey Joseph's checked in for Detroit. The Nets also changing it up. Griffin comes in for Johnson. And it's Bruce Brown in for James Harden. And I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. To the paint. Here's Griffin. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. And the foul called on Blake Griffin. That's foul number two for him. Griffin's gotten just one of his four attempts from the floor tonight. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Brooklyn leading by 23. And for a player with Blake Griffin's physical makeup, it was a big adjustment when he had to deal with injury issues. He's really had to reshape his body and his game. And it's Brown missing. Here's Grant. Lee kicks to Grant. Lee passes to Grant. The inside, covered by Mills. No good from Grant. Brooklyn's gotten one of six three-pointers to drop since coming out of the locker room at halftime. Hey, yo, right here. Olenek against Durant. From past the arc. Rebound by the Pistons. And one thing about Griffin and the injuries, Greg, that he went through, he did everything he could to get his body back to where it needed to be. And he didn't care what it was, yoga, weights, conditioning, you name it, because he knows how important it is to be able to elevate. And Griffin needs to be explosive, and, and he'll work 24-7 to make sure he is. Now here's Brown. And there's the drive. And Grant sends it back. And it's sent back by Aldridge. And look at how well Aldridge utilizes his sides, reaching out and just batting away the shot. Joe Harris has checked in for Brooklyn. Lee against Brown. And boy, that looked like goaltending. Yes, it is. And so they will award the basket there. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Detroit making a switch here. Stewart's checked in. Nets leading by 21. 
There's 49 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Pass to Griffin. Kicks to Harris. To end the cold streak. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Griffin. Harris has got seven points in the game. Outside, Joseph. And the foul called on Blake Griffin. That's his third foul of the game. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Twenty-seven seconds left in the third quarter. Stay on Screen coming. Aldridge gets a hand on it. They recover it and they get it back. Here's Lee driving inside. And Lee with the stuff. Well, the presence of mind from Kelly Olynyk, knowing someone's open, finds him quickly. Get there, get there. Now Durant. 22 points for him. Brown outside. And here's Harris from the arc. That one doesn't drop. The three quarters of play all in the books. And this one all but over already. Nets out in front, running away with this one. Live from Little Caesars Arena, you're watching 2K Sports. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And how about the floor generalship right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. Well, this is exactly what you're looking for from your point guard. Survey the floor, serve it up on time and on target. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. And so it's KD with it. He brings up the ball for the Nets. We've got Olenek. Corey Joseph is out there with Jackson. Then there's Isaiah Stewart. And it's Bay in at the small forward. That's the group for Detroit right now. The kick out to Brown. From deep. And the rejection by Jackson. And that's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. And Brooklyn making a change here. Claxton's checked in. Five to shoot. For three, Harris. Rebound by the Pistons. Jackson's got four rebounds now tonight. I'll tell you, even though he's not playing his best basketball, the team has played well and picked it up. I love it. Pistons shooting only 32% from the field. Plenty of signs of struggle by this offense today. Outside Jackson, and he drives in. Millsap gets a hand on it. And Millsap, for his size, a pretty good rim protector. KD looking around. Brown the pass to Millsap. Over Jackson. And that one's good, Millsap. Millsap's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Nets. And it's Detroit's ball. Passes it to Olenek. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Good work defensively by Millsap. The Nets have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. The 11-footer, the shot, no good. And it's Detroit the other way. Jackson in the corner. The Pistons keeping it alive, a new 14. That one falls. And they've shown a little extra hustle on the offensive glass here in the second half. Second chance points are starting to add up for them and they can use every one of them. Now, here's Brown. Greg, playing most of your career in the 90s, the game has really changed. Less physical, more skilled, but 
What role has the league played in all of that change? Well, the, the NBA is at the forefront of these changes. The competition committee that they have that meets annually to discuss ways to try to improve the game. Listen, they're not going to always knock it out of the park, but you have to keep thinking forward. And I applaud the league for their attempts to try to improve this game and grow it. Now, here's Brown. Outside Durant. Inside. Here's Claxton. That's good, and it's KD with the assist. Durant's got his seventh assist in the game. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Here's Olenek. Back to Joseph. The Pistons working the ball around now. Here's Bay. No good with the triple. Brooklyn's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Joseph. Jackson has the open look and a little luck that time, but it drops. You've got to be assertive in catch and shoot situations. Josh Jackson aggressive on the catch there. Really nice. Katie against Bay. Brown outside. Back to Millsap. Rebounded by Jackson. And the foul called on Paul Millsap. That's his third foul of the game. Greg, you've got the unique opportunity right now to watch your son Cole follow in your footsteps. What has changed for players now versus when you play? Well, I, I think the players today are so much smarter. And they prepare to be pros at such an earlier age. And honestly, I think that's one of the advantages our league has. You know, you don't have to teach these guys responsibility. You may have to teach them the game, but they are ready, willing, and able to work to achieve their goals. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. Millsap left side. Carter inside the three-point line. That shot is off. And the Pistons now going the other way. Pass to Joseph from 10 feet out. Almost, but it rolls out. Nets leading by 23. Here's Bembry. He kicks it to Brown. Carter outside. And the pass to Brown. Here's Bembry. Shoots the three. And again, it's the Nets missing. Here's Magruder. Puts it up from 12. He can't get that one. I'll tell you, no matter what he does, he can't find his rhythm, and you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. Millsap misses. Knocks it loose. Detroit's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. No good on the triple. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth operator. <laughs> and so it's Joseph with it. He'll bring it up for the Detroit Pistons. And it's Wiles in the corner. And Joseph kicks to Bay. From deep three-point range, rebounded by the Nets. Carter outside, takes it inside. No good, shot missing. Now the Pistons take it the other way. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Okay, two hands for safety. That's that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk, no question. Right wing. Pass to Sharp. On the wing, Brown. Passes it to Sharp. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Nets will retain possession. 
A, a split second late, but almost came up with a steal there. Absolutely appreciate the effort, though. He really went after it so close. So Detroit ends up going with the new group. Durant, 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 Durant. Oh. Clock at two. Here's Aldridge. That one wide left. And, well, Detroit shooting in the fourth quarter down around 31%, not playing with as much energy here lately. Jackson misses. Well, they get it to the high percentage area, and then it all goes wrong from there. And here's Harden for three. That's in coming off the assist from KD. KD's got his eighth assist in the game. From 10 feet out, here's Stewart. And good work on the boards. They pick up a second chance points. What an effective, efficient offensive possession. They'd love to get that shot every trip down the floor. Harden outside. Outside, KD. Stolen by Jackson. And he's going up for the alley-oop. It's stolen by Harris. Here's Millsap, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. The crafty veteran likes seeing Millsap be aggressive and really force the defense to get physical. And this August, the Summer League was back in Las Vegas, Greg, and that's where you're from, that's where you played. How pleased are you to see your hometown become a mecca for the game in the offseason? Oh, it is such a proud moment for me, born and raised here, growing up here. And, and quite honestly, I'm just thrilled that we have Summer League again. After what we've gone through, partner, it is just a breath of fresh air to get back to focusing on the little things. Here's what Detroit's going with right now. Jackson, he's checked in for Josh Jackson. Saban Lee subbed in for Cunningham. Then for the Nets, DeAndre Bembry comes in for Kevin Durant. And it's Mills in for James Harden. Here's Harris. After the basket by Detroit, dishes at the Mills. Pass to Aldridge. And it's Isaiah Stewart with the foul. That's foul number two for him. You know what? You've got to always be in control of your emotions. So for the Pistons, Jackson, he's checked in for Frank Jackson. And it's Cunningham in for Saban Lee. The Nets also changing it up. Kevin Durant's checked in for Bembry. And it's James Harden in for Patty Mills. On defense, the Pistons. Harden the pass to Alden. Oh! <laughs> wow. We are going to remember that one oh, for a while. I know I will, Greg. That, that was special. That was really special. Now, here's Cunningham. He's tightly guarded. Rebound, Brooklyn. KD's got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Harden dishes to Aldridge. There's the lob to Aldridge. And just a smooth player who reads the floor incredibly well. Harden is always looking to get his teammates involved. Detroit's gone ice cold from three-point land 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. Jackson passes to Cunningham. Over Harden. Cunningham's shot is off. And since halftime, he has just been ice cold. Just can't seem to get anything to go his way. The pass to Aldridge. Double team on Aldridge. For three, Harris. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Detroit with the ball. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Diallo the pass to Cunningham. And Doris, I know you dealt with a tough injury in your time as a player, but a lot of these careers being saved now by the advances in medicine. 
Kevin, think about it. Torn ACLs historically, going back 20 years, drastically changed what we believed was the ceiling for players. Now a torn ACL may only prohibit a player from playing for 8 to 12 months. That's drastically different. You're seeing stars like LeBron take care of their bodies, invest in what they know is the money maker for them. Listen, this medical progress, this improvement in nutrition and caring for your body has changed the equation on the length of careers. And the foul called on Paul Millsap. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. And Brooklyn making a change here. The inside, guarded by Harden. No coverage that time. I'll tell you, he'll take that all day, every day. I'm sure he was shocked to find himself that wide open. To the middle. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. That's the idea. You work the ball into that area. It's a sweet spot. We've got 148 left to play here in the fourth. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Javon Carter. That's his first foul. Johnson, he's checked in for LaMarcus Aldridge. One forty-four left to play in the final quarter. And here is Lee. Over to the left wing. Fires from deep. Miles no good. Brooklyn's gone beyond the arc seven times here in the fourth and been successful three times. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for Brooklyn. And this was one that never really was in doubt, but an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that in, in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And ever win important. And this one will go down as win number three. And with this win now, we're all square, one and one. Two more games yet to come in what's proving to be a very competitive season series. And one of the league's top talents, game in and game out. And doing it here again in this one. A terrific night for KD. Boy, I think he made his presence felt in the paint more than anywhere else. This guy's rebounding numbers were outstanding. He controlled the glass. But the truth is, they've had control of this game. And I couldn't agree more. What makes it that much more impressive, they're doing it on the road. Now, here's Lyons. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Both good from the line that time. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Carter with it. Pass to Harden. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Sharp. The second chance effort. Again, the Nets for two. You simply must put a body on this guy. You know he's going to try to get to that glass. Lee outside. 
And so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Thank you, Kevin. James, you guys facing a back-to-back -back on the road. A tough schedule, but so far so good, right? It's tough, man. We're a resilient team. We work extremely hard, you know what I'm saying? So put the pressure on us, uh, but we're mentally tough. Uh, big time win on the road, and uh, we got another one tomorrow. Yeah, you win on the road with mental more than physical, man. Appreciate your time. Kevin, back to you. All right, David, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. See you next time.